Good morning, Grade 4. Welcome back to Grade 4 Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? Today, let's learn how we can divide money. So, the division of money is the same as the division of any two numbers. For the ease of calculation, first just ignore the dot which separates the rupee part and the paise part. Do the division and place the dot in the final quotient. So, let's make it more clear with some examples. Let's see the first question. Divide 324 rupee 20 paise by 4. So, we are going to do the division by long division method. So, the given amount is written in the proper way without the dot in between for the ease of calculation. So, here we have the dividend 32420 and then the divisor is 4. So, here we are dividing with a one digit number. So, let's consider the first digit of the dividend. So, the first digit of the dividend is 3. You cannot divide 3 by 4. Hence, the next digit is also considered for division. So, here we have 32 divided by 4. So, residing the table of 4, we know 4 8s are 32. So, let's write 8 here. Now, 8 4s are 32. Now, the next step is to subtract the numbers. So, here it is 32 minus 32, which is equal to 0. Bringing down the next digit here, which is 4. Now, 4 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Now, 1 4s are 4. Now, subtracting the two numbers, we get 0 here. Bringing down the next digit, which is 2. And 2 divided by 4. Now, can we divide 2 by 4? No. So, what can we do to complete the division? Just put a 0 here in the quotient. Then, bring down the next digit. So, bringing 0 down. Now, we have 20 divided by 4. And we know 4 5s are 20. So, here, let's write 5. 5 4s are 20. Subtracting the numbers, we get 0 as the remainder. So, we have done the division completely. Now, the next step is to put the dot to separate the rupee part and the paise part. So, you have to put the dot after two places from the right. So, count two places from the right to the left. So, that is here. So, what is the quotient? So, the quotient is 81 rupee 5 paise. So, the amount 324 rupee 20 paise when divided by 4 gives you the amount 81 rupee 5 paise. So, I hope you understood this one. Now, let's see one more example. This is a word problem from exercise 12.2. Let me read the question to you. If 5 sets of uniform cost 525 rupee 50 paise, what will be the cost of each set of uniform? So, what is given in the question? The cost of 5 whole sets of uniform is given. And you are asked to find out the cost of just one set of uniform. So, how can we find out that? So, the cost of 5 sets of uniform are given. How do we find out the cost of one uniform? Just divide the total amount by the number of uniforms. So, that is equal to, let's see the steps. Cost of 5 sets of uniform is equal to 525 rupee 50 paise. And the cost of one set of uniform will be equal to cost of 5 sets of uniform divided by 5, which is the number of sets of uniform. So, that is 525 rupee 50 paise divided by 5. So, here we have written the numbers in the proper way to do the division. So, first just ignore the dot, continue with the division. When the division is complete, put the dot in the quotient. So, let's do the division here. Here we are dividing with a one digit divisor. So, let's see the first digit of the dividend and it is 5. Can we divide 5 by 5? Yes, 5 by 5 or 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Writing 5 here, subtracting the numbers, 0 here, bringing down the next digit, it is 2 here. Can we divide 2 by 5? No. So, what is the next step? Put a 0 in the quotient, bring down the next digit and here we have 25 now. Now, we can easily do 25 divided by 5, which is equal to 5. We know 5 5s are 25. Now, subtracting the numbers, we have 0 here. Now, the next step is to bring down the next digit. So, here we have 5. Now, again, 5 divided by 5 and that is equal to 1. So, 5 here, 
subtracting the number 0, bringing down the next digit which is 0. Now 0 divided by 5 equals 0 itself. So here 0, then remainder is also 0. So right now we are done with the division and we got the quotient as 10510. Now where do we put the dot? Count two places from the right to the left. So 1, 2. We put the dot here. So what is the amount? The amount is equal to 105 rupee 10 paise. So the cost of one set of uniform is equal to 105 rupee 10 paise. I hope this question is clear to you. Now we can go through this topic dividing money in page number 168 of your textbook. Go through the topic just once again then move on to exercise 12.2. You have to complete the questions 2a to 2f and also the word problem question number 6 from the same exercise. So once you are done with that, after the exercise there is the value education question given in a purple box in page number 169. Please go through that as well and do accordingly. So that's all for today children. Hope this was clear to you. We'll see in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.